One of the most powerful features of SwiftUI is the ability to control the way views are shown or hidden. Now you've seen previously how we can use regular if conditions to include a view conditionally in our layout, which means that when that condition changes, we can insert or remove views from our view hierarchy. Transitions control how this insertion and removal takes place, and we can work with built-in transitions, combine them in different ways, or create wholly custom transitions if we want to. To demonstrate this, we'll make a VStack in here with a button inside saying, tap me. And that's gonna do nothing for now. Then below the button, I'm gonna place a rectangle filled in with red and given a frame width of 200, height of 200, like so. Now we can make this rectangle appear only when a condition is satisfied. First, we add some state we could modify. For example, at state, private var is showing red, is false. And now we use that as a condition for whether we show the rectangle or not. For example, I might say, uh, if is showing red, then place the whole rectangle. And you can see it's gone. And now we'll toggle the Boolean for our button action here. I'll do is showing red dot toggle. Toggle, there we go. Now you're gonna see when you press the button, it will just show and hide the square. Like that. Up it goes, down it goes, automatically. There's no fancy animation for the square appearing and disappearing. Tap me moves nicely. Otherwise, it's all just jumping and jumping out. We can get SwiftUI's default view trans transition by wrapping a state change with, with animation, like this. Animate the Boolean changing, therefore animate the rectangle appearing and not. And I press Command R, and you should now see when I press the button each time, it kind of fades rectangle in and out smoothly. It looks okay, but we can do better with the transition modifier. For example, we could say, actually, I want this rectangle to have a transition of scale. So that means uh, scale up and down, it's being shown or hidden. So now it goes up the way and down the way again, like that. Boom. So now the button looks nicer. The rectangle's kind of scaling up as it makes making space and then scales away and again moving down. There are a handful of other of these to try. Uh, a useful one's called asymmetric. Asymmetric lets you use one transition where it's being inserted and one where it's being removed. For example, I might say, let's do an asymmetric uh, one here. Insertion, I'll use scale, and removal, I'll use opacity, the fade animation. And so now, when I press the button, it kind of scales up and then fades out. Scale up, fade out. 